Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of The Live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from beautiful Southern California, Corona to be exact, and let's see who is joining us, but before we find out who's joining us, I want to invite our friends from the other side. Here we go, let's see, let's bring them. Finish sitting up, I, not now. Stop it. Not now. Okay, let's see. Here's a 438. And here's our friends from the other side. Come on in. Come on in. Okay, let's see. Come on, people. Okay. Here we go. People from the other side. They've been gone for a while. And <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. We are live. We are good. We let's see who's hello Sarah. Welcome to the show. Becky Ottenberry, how you doing? Bobby Miller, how are you? Come on, everyone. Chris Martell is with us. Hello. Chris, I was in Michigan five days. Didn't see you. Hello, Michael Ramirez. Welcome. Welcome. Well, Rochelle is here. Hello, Rochelle. Matthew Dirks, my beloved from crazy Wisconsin. Good to see you, brother. Praying for you guys. Hope we're doing well. Coming to you from A to Z in the USA, Azusa, Mr. Michael Ramirez. Alan Goodwin, how happy Monday to you too. Try to join you in about 10 minutes. Okay, we're well, waiting for you. Okay, happy Monday. Okay, everybody. Debbie Malone, how are you? Catherine Allen, welcome. Naz, do you see, did you see Sophia Law? Yes. All right, Jennifer. Jennifer Dirks is here also from Wisconsin. Hello, Jennifer. Doing math in uh, Mathopotomia. <laughs> Mathopotomia. We are so behind, Art. Good to see you, brother. Sorry I missed saying hi to everyone. The comments are going by fast, and my internet is slow. It's okay. Mark Mund. Hello, my beloved. All right. Good to see you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All 73 right now. Already. Uh, one thing. Tomorrow is our podcast night. You guys know that. We don't have this show tomorrow. We have the podcast night at 6.30. Joining me will be race car driver Jeff Knight. Jeff Knight is also a pastor of a large church in Washington State, the Rock Church in Monroe. He wrote a new book about his life and how, you know, it'll be, I'll leave the surprises till tomorrow, but you guys get to hear his story before the book comes out. So that will be tomorrow at 6, probably we'll start a little bit before 6.30 because he has to run somewhere. So that's what it is. So we'll be here tomorrow. Uh, what did I do this weekend? I, you know, I was gone this whole week except last Monday because I was on the road and Wednesday night actually I got to Detroit really late it was the flight took later so I got there past midnight again I ended up eating from the vending machine you know starving all day flying from California rushing from one plane to another and then uh the next day, Thursday, I did a show for Building 21, which is a ministry that helps teens. It was great. We had a great time. I was able to auction off my one of my books for three hundred, over $300, and another, my DVD, for a couple hundred dollars. So that was nice. All the money went to the to help the ministry and also all the my produce, all my products, not produce. I don't do vegetables. Uh, I don't sell produce. <laughs> Can you imagine? After the show, hey, here's some funny tomatoes for you people. Uh, if Even if I sell produce at a comedy show, I will not. I will not sell tomatoes. No, that will defeat the purpose. Uh, nothing heavy. It will be very light, like uh, lettuce, like romaine lettuce, <laughs> something that doesn't hurt if you throw it at me. No cauliflower, no broccoli. Uh, just... <laughs> Just light stuff. 
like alfalfa sprouts. I'll be selling alfalfa sprouts after the show, not before the show. Alfalfa sprouts, that would be my... Uh, anyway, and then Friday I was off, so I ended up going to Dearborn, Michigan, which is the number one concentration of Middle Easterns in the country. And I was not disappointed, people. It was Ramadan, which is where people fast all day and then eat at 8 p.m. And boom, every restaurant was full. So I found, after the third try, I found a restaurant. And then uh, got my kanafa, which is a pastry, at somewhere else. Then I went and had uh, uh, coffee, and they have a hookah bar. I don't do hookah, but hookah is huge, you know. Americans, you know, they used to know Arabs as terrorists. Now they know them at hookah. Hookah. So it's a hookah bar. So anyway, I sat with this comedian, a Middle Eastern comedian, Amir Zahar, very funny guy, but he does more of the Middle Eastern crowds. So we had a nice couple hours just hanging out, talking. For, and then Saturday, um, I hope I'm not boring you, but Saturday I went to visit my University of Toledo, my, my Alta Mara, and uh, it was empty. I had I walked through the campus, went to the student union. Everything is different, a little different. Just the school still, the buildings are the same, but went visited where I used to live in the apartment right next you know, to the school. They changed that. Everything changed. Makes you hate change. Like, wow, I don't remember anything. I don't remember this. I don't remember that. They moved this. They took away that. I was like, oh. Then I went visited Port Clinton to see where I, my old business, and someone bought it and turned it into just their summer, summer like fishing place. And it was horrible. Just so sad. The house I used, you know, I bought the mobile home. Yes, I lived in a mobile home, people. Hey, hey, as American as it can get. And. It was just all just let go and, you know, old. But then again, if you met me 30 years ago and then you didn't see me for 30 years and then you came and saw me, you'll be like, oh, they took your hair away. Oh, look, they added some wrinkles on your face. Oh, I don't know. But anyway, so this is what happened. And uh, not much uh, nostalgic moments that I was hoping for. And then Sunday morning, I drove an hour and a half, did two services at a church in Holt, Michigan. Few people, over 10 people accepted Christ. Praise God. It was a great message. Then I drove back to the airport and flew away. Now, on Saturday morning in Toledo, I met Sophia Law, people. She is so sweet. She is such a sweet young lady. She's a nurse, critical uh, care nurse, just a wonderful sweetheart. I gave her her roll of toilet paper, and she got me a hat that says Toledo. Very sweet. She loves all of you. I am so shocked about, not shocked, but I'm so amazed by the family that we started. It was like meeting a relative. It was just meeting a relative. Uh, it just happens. Every time I meet someone uh, from the show, it's like meeting a relative. So anyway, uh, <laughs> I, it's it's all water under the bridge. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me read your comments. Lemons. Oh yeah, I don't. A little squash here. <laughs> okay. Naz is Detroit as beautiful a beautiful city. I didn't even go downtown. Can you believe it? Hey Naz, getting compliments on the cross at church. All right, Grace. Thank you for yeah for bringing it to your pastor. Oh, Miss Hester on Naz, not race. <laughs> Naz, it looks like you're preaching to the choir. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Let's see. Uh, a little squash here. Wow, that's what a blessing to them. It was to me too on the road again. Naz has a new gig, produce. Yes. You could sell prunes, Ness. Thanks, Art. Lemons. Tomatoes are fruit. Yeah, that's true. You could sell grapes. That's kale, lettuce, sprouts. That way you can't throw anything very far at Ness. That's true. Okay. Hookah is a huge... huga. I've never done it. You don't want to. It's as bad as cigarettes. But 
Middle Eastern people don't think it is. Maybe some Spanish can throw that far, don't know how I know that. Okay, I won't. Must I have been a night of soul food for you? Yeah, know how that feels. I'm here, everyone. It's water under the bridge. It, okay, let's see. So happy you got to see Sophia. Yes, we felt that way meeting you too the weekend we did. Right, Jennifer and Matthew. It's beautiful meeting you guys. What do you say about Michael? What? <laughs> what did she say about Michael? <laughs> I'm not saying. But then they have to leave Naz's show because of diarrhea. <laughs> you could sell prunes. That's true. If I sell prunes, I have to sell them after the show. That is opening doors for more and gigs for you. Thank you guys for your prayers. Here's my thought real quick. Um, I was thinking, you know, sometimes we, we ask questions. When we, uh, when we have questions throughout our life, when we, you know, sometimes we ask ourselves questions. And when we don't know the answer, you know, I used to go to the library to find out the answer. Then I bought the Encyclopedia Britannica book series. You know, they were even selling them at grocery stores and found out my answers. Then the internet came and I started asking Jeeves. Remember Jeeves? Ask Jeeves or Jeeves? Jeeves. Then I started asking Alexa and Siri and Google. And one day when I get old, I'm going to start asking myself, why am I in this room? What did I come here for? And then I'll start asking questions like, who am I? <laughs> I don't know, but that's, that's the trajectory of the questions and trying to find the answer. It's time for Thoughts with Naz. Okay, what does Sophia say about me? <laughs> Have you met him yet? Uh, have I met who yet? Uh, Michael? No, I haven't met Michael yet. He, I know he's not a robot. <laughs> okay, here we go. La ladies and gentlemen, last time we were together it was last monday and i asked you the the question what not to sing in church what not to sing in church here you go at number 20 i can get no satisfaction at number 19 99 bottles of beer at 18 cocaine at number 17 thriller at number 16 fight for your right to party at number 15 material gear at number 14, oops, I did it again, oops. At number 13, I shot the sheriff. At number 12, Bad Boys theme song. <laughs> At number 11, Like a Prayer by Madonna. Okay, top 10 songs you can sing at church. At number 10, I did it my way. At number 9, All the Single Ladies. At <coughs> Excuse me. At number 8, Highway to Hell. At number seven, another one bites the dust. At number six, all my exes live in Texas. At number five, devil went down to Georgia. At number four, what's love got to do with it? That's, you don't want to sing at church that. At number three, man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> at number two, I thought that was hilarious. Do you hear what I hear? This is bad at church when you can say that. Do you hear what I hear? Uh, at number one, we're song to sing at church, Amazing Grace, when your wife's name is Nancy. I thought that was very funny, Rita. I don't know if Rita's with us today. Library, Britannica, Jeeves, Alexa, Syrian, Google, too funny. Right? I don't know you were in Michigan last week. I was. I kept saying that, Chris. I said, come see me. Bobby got numbers. Sarah had a few of them last Monday. Okay. Wow, it's Monday already, 75 people. You know what we do every 15 minutes? We hydrate and share. I thought He Touched Me was pretty funny. That song just didn't age well at all. <laughs> all right. Okay, here's your first question. Did you guys know today is National Life Insurance Day? Life Insurance Policy Day. Today is National Life Insurance Policy Day. And the question, give me the worst name for an insurance company. I know we asked this two years ago. Worst name for an insurance company.
You must have AOL. <laughs> you know what? That didn't come up, Sarah. You know, sometimes Facebook doesn't show me all the comments from the last show. Yep, it's been so long since Live with Naz. It's Monday again. National Life Insurance Policy Day. Yes, Art. Dead or alive. That's good, Jennifer. That's funny. Till death do us part. Michael said something funny and get the numbers up to 100. Another one bites the dust in ink. <laughs> oh, insurance. Doesn't cover anything. <laughs> hey, that sounds familiar. Just secure the device to join in tonight. All right, Becky. You got number two from top 20. Do you hear what I hear? Oopsie daisy. <laughs> Better off dead. And insured. Geronimo Insurance. Not a chance. Insure. Dust in the Wind Life Insurance Company. Good one. Banquet in Death Bennies. All right. Ashes to Ashes Insurance Company. <laughs> Nine Lives Insurance. Gold Diggers Choice Life Insurance. Final Departure Partners. <laughs> money Pit. Throw your money away with us. I haven't seen Ness since Elon Musk bought Twitter. That's true. <laughs> can anyone see me? Yeah, we do, We can now. Hi, Rita. You got the number one, top 20. Amazing Grace. But your wife's name is Nancy. <laughs> Kamikaze Life. Six feet under, money for you insurance. Never get married with this policy. Eeny, meeny, mighty, mo. High risk. Dire straits. <laughs> you only live once here on earth. <laughs> the stock exchange. Okay, let's see. Oh, wohazaz. <laughs> what? I don't even remember the last show's question, huh? It's either ask Sarah or listen to the replay. No, it was... Uh, Songs you don't sing at church, and yours what? Do you hear what I hear? Okay, destination unknown death policies. I love Jennifer Derrick. She's just like, boom, she's fast and funny. I'm not saying Matthew is not. I mean, Matthew's amazing. He's been with me forever. It's a hard knock life insurance company. My money now. <laughs> Good one, Pat. Pay when you go. <laughs> we only sell to ghosts. Al Capone's insurance. Al Capone's. All right, come on, guys. This is a good question. There should be a lot of <laughs> bad names for an insurance company. We pay slow. <laughs> the pearly gates. My mom doesn't speak English, so don't worry <laughs> about trying to translate her comments. Then it's. <laughs> Good one, sir. Roman Colosseum Lion's Life. If I said that, people would believe me, but my mom speaks good English. The Final Countdown <laughs> Life Insurance. Good one. Highway to Hell Insurance Company. Go towards the light and give us your money. <laughs> the Long Game Life Insurance. Aflac. <laughs> Gus the Grim Reaper's Life Insurance. <laughs> Oh, his name is Gus, huh, Rochelle? Wife, Rochelle, your your podcast is downloading well. You know, we did it last week. I downloaded it. I think we have over 700 and some downloads right away. Spouse's reward, liability only, <laughs> stairway to heaven life insurance, We can make it look like an accident. <laughs> we can make, I'm signing up with them. We can make it look like an accident. Spin the bottle of life, tombstones. 
Really, that's great to hear. I was wondering if many people listened to it. No, they did. I heard some comments. Pharaoh's last chance. What's life has to do with it? The devil's advocate. Black market. Right. Exception mother-in-law. We put the N in inheritance. <laughs> Suicide cover is life insurance. Oh yeah, now I remember. Ha ha. I also don't know how far behind that little Chromebook is on the show. <laughs> oh, you're using a Chromebook like students. Oh, that's nice. It works though. It's coffin time. Life insurance. <laughs> Dirty hairy life insurance. Hey guys, doesn't have to be life insurance. Just any insurance company. We just made it so general so you can have more fun with it. Worst name for an insurance agency or company. Dirty Harry Life Insurance. Under the Rose Bush Insurance. <laughs> Short change. The Grim Reaper. I see you two dads, laptop seems fair. <laughs> Choose your casket insurance company. <laughs> the Godfather Firearms Insurance. Only one time around. Accidents are us. Our specialty is sending cars of cliffs you want to get out of. We'll never pay up. Crash test dummies auto insurance. Dictator health insurance. Crash test. Okay, pine boxes are us insurance. Ten plagues insurance does not cover acts of God. Sure. Good one, Matthew. How many drinks will this take? <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop, chiropractic care. Okay, we make an offer you can't refuse. We know what medicine you should take, not the doctor. <laughs> the mob, that's good. Up in flames, house insurance. The mafia. Oh, Dr. Kavorkin Medical, good. The Chromebook is Pat's little basic computer. Godfather's Equine Insurance Limited, of course, with the horse. Mooning Insurance Company. I love Sarah, we think alike, she must be great. Yes, you guys are amazing. Godfather whole life. <laughs> oh, it's a whole life policy. I don't know if I need a whole life, but if it's a Godfather settlement, I better buy it. We know that you drove them to it, life insurance company. Dahmer and Gazi Insurance. <laughs> Can anyone see me? No, we're not seeing your comments. I don't know why. I have not seen your comments, uh, Rita. What's going on? You need a Chromebook. No, no, I have not seen. Half off payouts. <laughs> That's funny, Alan. That is, you know what? Alan deserves it. Lake of Fire Insurance, E Z and Slee Z. Don't call. <laughs> Don't call us. We'll call you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's good. I'm not signing up with them. That's a bad name. Extra crispy <laughs> or well done insurance. <laughs> Hammer and sickle insurance. 
change browsers. Now you can see me. Yes. Lily, hello from the Cove. Stagecoach is over. I need a new liver. <laughs> what is Stagecoach? I don't know what that is. Is that a festival? I know. Gotcha. What do you call it? Stagecoach. Coffin discounts. Please hold until the next available representative. Wasn't me accident protection. Imagine you and Nez have the same name, Riscala. Do you know John? He don't accept my friend's request. Imad is my brother, so he's John's uncle. So uh, try, <laughs> keep trying. <laughs> the creepy laugh machine and beauty break insurance company. <laughs> I haven't had a break, beauty break for a long time. Weekend at Bernie Vacation Policy, Purgatory Limited, good one, Grace. Low Down Dirty <laughs> Insurance, Country Music. Oh, okay, it's a country music festival. I didn't know Lily was into country music. <laughs> Black Hole Insurance, good one, Neil, hello. Who, what, when, where, <laughs> Alzheimer's Insurance. Intermittent insurance. It's a bunch of country artists, singers performing on stage, and people are dancing and drinking. Oh, okay, that's that's where the new lever comes in into the picture. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, no. <laughs> Good. Uh, Philip. Philip Berham. Thank you for joining us, Philip. Thanks for coming out to Building 21. Again, out in Mason, Michigan. I was a photographer that night. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being with us, for joining us tonight. Okay, the Stage Coast Festival is an outdoor country music festival held annually at the Empire Polo Club in Indio, California. That's close to where the Cove is, where Lily, second home. Various artists attend, whether they be mainstream or relatively unknown, ranging from folk, mainstream, country, bluegrass, root, Root, rock, Americana, and alternative country. Wow. Thank you so much, Mark. Laura and Hardy Insurance, sure. Uh, spouse Insurance by Elizabeth Taylor, sure. <laughs> Fallen House Witch Protection. You've never, we've never heard of you. <laughs> We've never heard of you, life insurance. Quit ferning around. <laughs> right. Max brother, Mark's brother's insurance. The answers to what not to sing in church. One, stop in the name of above. Yeah. He ain't heavy. He's my mother. Right. Random check insurance. Yeah, you won number one, at Rita. It was... Uh, Amazing Grace, but your wife's name is Nancy. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Who am I, old timers insurance company? Passive aggressive insurance. Dentures are us. Homeless house insurance. Sure. That's like an oxymoron right there. 18th century insurance. Camel spit insurance. Houdini is vanishing protection. Good one, Matt. Your death certificate is just steps away, insurance. We I, identify who you identify. We indemnify who you identify as. Back to about mobile homes. I believe a man is the man of the house. Fortunately for us, we live in a trailer. Cover your two key. Two keys? <laughs> Prenuptial insurance. Cover your. What is a Tuki? I hope it's something okay. <laughs> Speaking of Tukis, let's <laughs> let's hydrate and share people. All eighty people. Remember, tomorrow is a podcast 
with race car driver Jeff Knight. Also, he's a pastor of a large church. He has two several wonderful stories. But this guy almost died. Of course, he's a race car driver. But he'll share the story. Wonderful. Cover your... T- <laughs> Stage Coast is a fun weekend of country music. Your blue class to bear. <laughs> good one. Will Smith Lap Insurance. You're in good hands. Good one, Michael. That's funny. UIC, Unbacked Insurance Company. Invisible Ink Insurance. Good. Keep the house in your name insurance. We've spent it. Oh, no. A wrecking Ball Rental Insurance. What insurance? Hello, Amy. Welcome. Lowest rates insurance company. We pay nothing. Fine print is fine. <laughs> fine print is fine with us. Nebulous coverage limited. Rattlesnake insurance. <laughs> Pancho's here. Hello, Pancho. You call, we hold you all. I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. Your parachute are not guaranteed. Ah, oh, man. Dynamite blow up your accident. Why? Jennifer, wait a minute here. This is, I need to stop and be concerned a little bit. First, you talk about camel spit. Now you're speaking about dynamites. You have something with Arabs? Is there something going on here with Middle Easterns? <laughs> Are you having an issue right now? I'm just kidding. Hit and run insurance. BMW broke my wallet insurance company. <laughs> Added room mental insurance. Nez, it appears that Tuki is what you sit on. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's another name. I know Tushi. I know all the, you know, the donkey name. I know the, you know, but Tuki. That sounds like Hawaiian. Hawaiian butt. <laughs> Tuki. No, that's Tiki. Tuki Tiki. <laughs> what if you're showing your Tuki under a Tiki? <laughs> Would you still be arrested for indecent exposure? I don't know. <laughs> Tuskas. No, another one. <laughs> Tuskas. I'll drink for that. <laughs> oh, no, you don't want to. Tuki is your bottom. Okay. Black Widow Insurance. Farmers. All of those farmers only dates. <laughs> malpractice insurance. The malpractice is ours. Backhanded insurance. Not even we can cover it. <laughs> Not even we can cover you. Sure we can. Whose fault was it really? <laughs> insurance company. <laughs> Should have read the fine print. <laughs> you didn't insure anything. House burning party insurance. Next thing you know, Jennifer will have some type of turban insurance. You know, like it, if it's unravels or something. Right. Manhole insurance. We've got you covered. No, I love the Middle East, especially the food and people. Separate, of course. I know. I'm just kidding. Of course I'm kidding. Uh, you know, Jennifer brought me the Piggly Wiggly Pig last uh, last week. It's only been last week, yes. On the job, ouchies, workman's comp for manly men. <laughs> Stinky cheese insurance. Stinky cheesy insurance. We insure when we're assured. <laughs> uh, it's all fun, right? Say it more like took us. Oh, took us. I tried to get Chris Rock on your Tuesday show. So far, no luck. Okay, same here. (laughs) Pay out when you check out. (laughs) Obituary insurance. Grims and eggs mortuary insurance. Why the egg? Your rates go way up. (laughs) Your rates go way up insurance. (laughs) Two-faced. (laughs) 
two-faced insurance. I don't want to talk to the guy. <laughs> the agent. Lord of London insurance. Oh, Lord, no insurance. You, oh, that was Lloyd's of London. I did a show many years ago for the Lloyd's of London. It's a big, big, I think it's a banking company. In and out insurance. Easy come, easy go. The holy umbrella spotty coverage. I bet you that was a real ham. <laughs> yeah. Guinness World Record cheaters insurance. <laughs> o H and no insurance. Oh, and no insurance. Endangered insurance. It's all downhill from here insurance. Lie the body insurance. Con artist insurance. We're awesome. Trust us. Hey, Matt. Matt Nisley, first timer. How are you? Tell us what city and state. That's all we ask. First time only. We went to church tonight for prayer week early. Thank you for the update, Amy. Jack in the box insurance. Joker's insurance. Cost insure rents. Copier insurance. <laughs> Mutual of oh ma who maha. Maha is my wife. Also, if I call her Omaha, that means oh my, <laughs> oh my darling, Maha. Turn the other cheek. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny, Catherine. That is so funny. <laughs> when you're going to claim and they're like, no, we can't help you. You just have to turn the other cheek. You can't get mad. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Porkers and chairs for those who like to ham it up. Sticks and stones, mental health insurance. Last chance insurance. We'll try not to rip you off insurance. We'll try. Must be a full service. I've been on before. It's just been a while. I'm from Grand Junction. Oh, right. Yeah, that's right, Matt. My bad. What the truth have to do with it? Insurance. Fern insurance. Insure ants insurance for insects. Vipers and our us insurance. Yeah, Colorado. Yeah, Junction. We're going to be there July, July 7th and 8th. Night vision is coming back. Let me tell you the lineup. Don't tell anybody. First night headliner is Crowder. Second night headliner. Um, what's his name? Oh, Jeremy Camp, my friend, Jeremy. Speakers. David Nasser one day and Greg Laurie the other day. Host. Comedian Nazareth, both nights. We have some good lineup. As the cheek turns insurance... Tetatic, turn the other Tuki Insurance Company. Farmers Insurance, we will milk you. I never thought of that. That is so funny. Oh my lord, that is so funny. We were farmers, we will milk you. <laughs> That's good. I'm so glad you turned. Okay, man. You guys, that's funny. This is funny. This is getting funnier. Uh, see, no, no beauty break. Kirk is here. Hello, Kirk. We missed you. Take advantage insurance. Ah. Killing me. Life insurance and chainsaw jugglers. Blame the other <laughs> blame the other car insurance company. <laughs> you can't handle this insurance. Trip you up insurance. We cover nothing that really matters insurance. Pregnant male insurance. Sure. State charm <laughs> insurance. We will charm you into anything. <laughs> ah awesome. We cause the mess you're in, <laughs> we'll sell you the solution. Sounds like a great lineup. Yes. Yeah, night vision because they don't care about money. We don't we don't really care about like covering the cost of the event. Uh 
we just like the tickets are cheap, like twenty five dollars or something. It get you get to see lineup. At times we had Mercy Me and uh, what do you call it? And Jeremy Camp the same night. We had we have two lineup. We have Newsboys, and then before that we have uh, what's his name uh, Matthew West. In the same lineup, same night. I mean no. There's no other festival ever can even afford to do that. But we do it because we have a big budget. And that's awesome. So if you are near Junction or you want to make a trip out of it, it's worth it. Great lineup. You know, Justin Feliz, uh, what, what, what's his name? He's really good. He was on America's Got Talent, or no, American Idol. Why am I blanking out on some artist? He was with us last year when we did the event in Junction, but uh, I remember him in a minute. The Heartless Insurance. I'm definitely excited for night vision. I'll definitely be there. Please come talk to me. Ask one of the security guys. Say, hey, Nazareth asked to meet me. They'll let you in the, in the backstage. Never in all states insurance. Yesterday, Philip broke our friend's car right side mirror on X. Amy, can, you, can we keep it just about the, the questions, please? I just forget and start reading, and it's just. I think Pats didn't show up. It's drunk monkeys. No, I didn't see that. And no state insurance. Emily says Morticians United Health Insurance. M. Oh, M. Thank you, M. That's funny. Morticians United Health Insurance. Hobbit Adventure Insurance. See, now we got the whole family. We got Jennifer, M, and Matthew. And I want you to definitely pray for this family that God will open a door for them. We'll do that at 923. Regressive will slowly fade away. If you don't pass, you don't get gas insurance. I didn't do it. Car insurance company. <laughs> sure you didn't. Pull the wool insurance. Family jewels are productive. <laughs> Rochelle, Rochelle, Rochelle. Wrong, wrong field insurance. Ness, do you ever meet the band Jars of Clay? Yes, I met him a long time ago. And they had a crack in one of the jars. Big budgets are us. Respect your insurance. USA ARB. Good name. Blessed insurance. Invisible insurance. We disappear when you need us. <laughs> Kathy Lasaro, Lasora, how are you? What website to sign up in Colorado for July? Go to praisehimministries.com. Praisehimministries.com. And then go to the night vision events, and then you can sign up to get tickets. You've been fleeced insurance. <laughs> The guy with the blonde mohawk. That's a bad. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I went I went to a restaurant in uh Detroit uh on Saturday evening. It was a Middle Eastern restaurant. It was horrible. It was horrible. I ordered the quail. The reason I ordered a quail because I live in California and that's a national bird and you can't eat it in California. So I ate it in Detroit. The food tasted good, the quail, but when I smelled it, it was horrible. I don't know why I continued eating because it tasted good, but it's horrible. And I found out. I thought I found the restaurant on Yelp. I, I think it was on WebMD. I'm serious. I went home. I called Maha. I said, I think I'm going to get food poisoning. I know I'm going to get food poisoning. And I just laid in bed and I kept my clothes on just in case 911 come in. And I kept the phone right next to me. 
I'm serious. I was waiting for a food poisoning to happen any minute. And I'm like, I hope, Lord, if I get food poisoning, please let me get done with it. If I go to the ER, let them just finish it before before 7 a.m. because I need to drive to the church and halt and an hour and a half and do the show. Please, Lord. And then I fell asleep and I got up at 4 in the morning and I'm checking if my stomach is still there. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, it didn't happen. Yes. But, man, it was horrible. It tasted like oven cleaner. Oh, man. It was horrible. Sorry. The Snipe Hunters Insurance. Danny Goki, yes. Yes. Danny Goki is going to be there. Danny Goki, yes. Patty Cake Insurance. Your insurance canceled yesterday. Ankle Biter Child Care Insurance. Liberty and Mutual. First and last rights insurance. Good one, Bobby. Lynn Cullen Health Insurance. Lynn Cullen. <laughs> to hell with... <laughs> Good one, Grace. To hell with you, insurance company. Geico, we will get you. And like a good neighbor, stay at home. <laughs> State Harm is there. Ah, a crack in one of the jars. Yeah. <laughs> Toss those tickets, insurance company. <laughs> like, yeah. M says, uh, Lion Tamer's gone wrong life insurance. You're going to get bitten. To hell with you. <laughs> New York wife insurance. <laughs> Don't read the fine print insurance. Hey, Jenna. Jenna Kristen, how are you? First timer? If you are, let us know. City and state, where you at? Oh, we forgot. At 9.15, every 15 minutes, we hydrate and share. So please drink. Non-alcoholic something or water. All righty. That's funny. Met life, we bet on your life. What speeding ticket auto insurance? Block wide as opposed to nationwide. That's fire insurance should cover that. To hell with you, right? BO insurance, quail from hell. <laughs> it was. Always funny when Rochelle makes the productive jokes. I know. Shortcomings insurance. Noah's flood insurance. Quail fail. <laughs> it's a quail fail. You keep closing in case you have... To. I know. If you feel you're going to get sick, come on. Please, just just to help those hard-working paramedics and firefighters not... <laughs> just keep your clothes on. Walls of Jericho Earthquake Insurance. <laughs> we don't cover that <laughs> insurance. I'm glad your stomach was still there, yeah. And make sure there's no holes in your underwear, right? Mom told me always... Always wear a new underwear. You never know whenever you get in an accident. What kind of encouragement that leaving your house in the morning? <laughs> your entire hope to survive is dependent on your underwear. Mother's Day is coming. I'm going to remind my mother. I'm like, did you really, really believe that? You know, mother... I wear a new underwear every day and nothing happens. So you're right. You are right. I will not get in an accident unless. <laughs> I don't know. It's so funny. Can you see the paramedics? They're like, oh, man, what a bad accident. Quick, quick, quick. Let's help this guy. Come on. Let's get the defibrillator. Oh, 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 he has a. He has a, you know, he doesn't have a fresh underwear. Let's go. Just leave him. Let him die. Let him die. Just let him die. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's the new underwear has to do with it? <laughs> so, you know, just keep it in the glove compartment. And just, just like when you know you're getting an accident, right before the airbag just opened, just get, a, get your underwear and put it on. You know? <laughs> Save it for you're in danger, you know what I mean? 
maybe GM and Ford or Tesla should make like just like they have an airbag, they should have an underwear just like deflates. It just opens up and poop, it just pu puts itself on you right before you you have the the accident. I think that would be a great great invention if anybody would do that. Ah, you make sure there's no bar barfing it up insurance. Jonah's insurance. If you get eaten by a whale, we cover. We got you covered, right? Needs egg insurance. It's not my stuff in my pocket. <laughs> Colin Powell health insurance. <laughs> the streak. How fast your insurance gives you a run. Guard dogs insurance. We take a bite out of you. <laughs> Jake from State Farm, you're in good hands with altered states. <laughs> Petty theft insurance, not that we care. Okay, it is time for that, yeah. City and state and single status for all... <laughs> Stop it. What would your mother say? Psycho girlfriend's insurance, USAARP. Guardian death as opposed to guardian life. Multiple personality life insurance. I'm from Bakersfield, California. It's been a while. Yeah, Jenna, I remember you. Thank you for joining us again. Royal Flush Insurance. <laughs> Samson Insurance. When you get deceived, we'll bring the walls down. Kane's Insurance. Able who? <laughs> the Clean Clock Insurance. It all comes out in the end insurance. Oh. Oh, brother, where art thou? Mother-in-law insurance, we feel your pain. <laughs> okay, my mother's first Mother's Day in heaven. Oh, I'm sorry. My mother's, my mom's mother's day was April 8th, my birthday since I'm the firstborn. Oh, have the airbag deployed some boxer shorts, right? Saving Ryan's private medical insurance. As an EMT, chances are you will soil your underwear in that accident because of the trauma. Oh, no. Impactful insurance. Comedian Joshua from South Africa. How are you? Good morning. Just joined. All right. Good to see you, man. Maybe the whole clean underwear was a magical force field that kept you from accidents or something. Joan of Arc Fire Insurance. Colin Powelloscopy. Colin Powelloscopy Insurance. We missed you, Art. It's good to see you again. Got No Respect Insurance. Wamu Life Insurance. Angels We Are Not. Great. Mom says Ammo Insurance, right? Hail Mary, Catholic life insurance. Demons are us, life insurance. I copied Jenna tonight. Okay. Oops, I cried so much. 925 people. Oh, shoot. It is time for your prayer request. And on Wednesday, we'll do the Guinness Book of World Record. I am so sorry. Friday 13th insurance only works on Friday 13th. Okay, Jesus with eternal life insurance. All right, guys, it's time for your prayer request. Prayer request. Please pray for the Dirks family, Matthew, Jennifer, and M. Um, I don't know if I have the freedom to say, but they were asked to leave their home, and they need to find a new home, so your prayers are needed. I'm going to ask them to put their the thing, the GoFundMe into the Live with Naz. Can you try to put that in there? If you didn't, just to see what the family can do to help. Good night, everyone. See you next time. All right, Chris, any any prayer? Unspoken for Lily, we will. Okay, good name. EI Insurance, Eternal Assurance Insurance. Jesus, take the wheel, driver's insurance. Disney Insurance. For all have sinned and have <laughs> their fallen shorts. All right. Anybody needs prayer, please speak now. Or wait till Wednesday.
because tomorrow Jeff Knight, the race car driver slash pastor, will be with us on the podcast. We'll starting early, nine to at six twenty five, so Mr. Nazareth, I don't like us to video chat. When can I call you? Okay. Okay, well, private message me. I'll I'll see what's available. This is a crazy, crazy weeks I've been going through. Please keep my family in prayer. We are going through the grieving process of passing. My mom went home to be with the Lord. We will, Bobby. Pray all pastors this week for prayer week. Oh, yeah. This is National Day of Prayer. So we need to pray for our nation. Peggy and her foster child's doctor visit. We will. We will, Grace. We'll pray for Peggy and her foster child. Anybody else needs prayer? Unspoken for me, Sarah, and for continuing healing for Maggie Jo and her sons. Okay, we'll be praying. Healing for my back, neck, and basically everything. Okay, Becky. Ouch. We'll be praying for you. We're praying for all the single people who desire to be married someday, that God will provide the right person. My oldest will be 18 tomorrow. Yeah, he's going to the same truck school I went on May 9th. Okay, we'll have his CDL4 about weeks later and is looking to move out on his own. Oh, we'll be praying for him and for you, Rochelle. Matt, I hit nine months of sobriety. Yes, on Wednesday. I just want to praise God for giving me a, a second chance and I pray for all those struggling with addiction. Praise God, Matt. Thank you for sharing that with us. We'll be praying for you. Jenna, prayer for my second grade students and the amazing community project they are working on. Pray they see great success for their hard work. Oh, we will. We will pray for all the conflicts in the world. Yes, you have people in the Ukraine, Russia. Oh, pray for our nation. Yes, we need it so bad. Prayer for Christian brother Jim, who has... Glioblastoma, brain cancer. Oh, we'll be praying for Jim. Morgan Fournette, thank you. Hello, Joshua Guy. Cross, welcome. A little tough, man. Alrighty. Well, we'll be praying for you guys. It's so good to know there's a family of believers that are praying for one another and so nice to know that someone is praying for you and care about what you, you know, we don't just pray. We're really concerned about you. And sometimes, you know, I'm praying in the morning or at night. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm praying for my brother or my sister here, be with them and all that. So, you know what? We've seen some prayers answered. I know. Uh, what do you call it? Remember we used to pray for a lady and uh, uh, Michael Ramirez brought this to my attention. Uh, we were praying for healing for her and then she she put something on face uh, while we were doing the the show and we did not, I didn't see it right away but uh, Michael Ramirez showed it to me and I'm gonna just read it quick. Uh where is it? Shoot shoot shoot. Okay, where is it? Here we go. Michael Ramirez. Okay. It was here and the lady said her name is Michelle Barcia. Remember we were praying for her last month? She said, Thanks for your prayers. I'm on the road to recovery. God saved me because of your prayers. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God for your prayers. I pray that every prayer that God will answer it according to his will in his own timing. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Remember tomorrow we'll have the podcast at 6.30 or six. let's say 6.25 only tomorrow. And then on Wednesday we'll be back, God willing. Good night.